Happy first day of summer, y'all. If y'all are new here, my name is Caroline and you should totally subscribe and join the man fam. Today is the first day of summer, for me at least. It's May 3rd of 2023. I just finished my freshman year of college. I'm officially done with all my classes, which is really hard to believe because this second semester just absolutely flew by. Like I vividly remember the first semester, but the second one, I honestly couldn't even tell you. Like. <laughs> A lot of the things that I did. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that tends to happen though. After spring break, everybody kind of checks out and I for sure checked out. So I'm about to do some morning journaling. Journaling is one of my favorite things ever. It is like free therapy. It's nice to write down your thoughts, everything kind of going on inside your head. Check. Don't call her to come back because my LL stays smooth. I didn't hit you. All right, let's get the show on the road. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Like I go to bed looking forward to whatever I eat in the morning. And I've already thought through what I'm going to be eating this morning. <laughs> you know me. We're going to do an over easy egg with toast and huckleberry jam on top. It's been so funny seeing how many of y'all have recreated my like iconic toast because everyone poo poos on it and thinks it's gonna be disgusting and then it always ends up really good. We're gonna pop this in the toaster. I got some huckleberry jam that I'm gonna take to my grandmother. Now we gotta cook the over easy egg. Honestly, cooking eggs has become light work to me because my mom taught me how to make one, I think when I was like nine years old. The only things that I add on my eggs are pepper and salt. I like to keep it very, very basic. Last night was honestly so, so emotional. I said goodbye to one of my best friends that I've made here. We ate dinner together at South Fork Dining Hall on campus after I was like craving a cold brew. So we walked to Starbucks, not too far, but far enough where we got a little bit of a workout. And we just sat outside of Starbucks from 6.30 to 9 p.m. We just talked about life, kind of everything. It just made me realize that I don't want friendships anymore where it's just surface level. I think if a lot of us cut out the friendships in our life where you can't have those deep conversations with somebody, where you have to give somebody special treatment but hold everybody else to this other standard, then I don't think it's worth keeping around and she is definitely worth keeping around so made me really emotional oh this is so good i forgot to show y'all but i am drinking the pop and bottle matcha oat latte all right let's jam this toast up it's kind of jam it's like jam mixed with honey beautiful i feel like sitting outside this morning that's what we're gonna do I forgot how much I missed the sun. Boise in the spring and summer is like... I'm 100% going on a walk later today. I changed into a little workout set. I've got this top on from Aritzia. Underneath, I've got my... Lulu tank and then Lulu shorts. These are my favorite type of shorts from Lululemon. I feel like the other ones, I think it's the hottie hot shorts. I just don't like the way that they fit on me, but the speed up shorts are for sure my favorite because I'm gonna go on like a little walk. I need to put on some SPF, skin protection always. I'm not trying to do a full face of makeup right now. All I'm gonna do is 
first off wake my face up then i'm gonna use my super goop glow screen this has spf 40 it just makes your face look so so shiny and awake while obviously of course doing the most to protect it oh my gosh no not me getting it in my hair ew 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 i'm kind of stressing because tomorrow i have a 5 25 a.m flight I told myself I was gonna stop doing those out of Boise, but literally they're so cheap and I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money. So I'll do whatever it takes. My grandma's birthday is tomorrow and so I wanted to surprise her and just book a flight. I'm literally gonna take the bus from the airport and then just show up at her door and just be like, hey, what's up? And I'm so excited because I'm gonna film obviously her whole reaction and everything, but I really, really think she's gonna be surprised. She's not expecting it at all, which is gonna be the best. Best part i'm gonna put on my eyelash serum i love 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 this one it's from babe lash only other thing i'm gonna do is just put on some mascara so there's been two mascaras that i've really been liking there's the l'oreal voluminous which i do whenever i go out it just really makes my lashes look super good but this one is growing on me and i've been using it a lot more especially all last week it's the milk kush mascara i really really like this one i think it's very natural not clumpy at all as you can see super natural and it just goes on really effortlessly yay okay it looks so so good i can't even tell y'all how much the weather being sunny and just warmer has absolutely changed my mood this has been the longest time with no sun in boise since like 1960 and i believe it because there were so many days where i was walking to class in the snow and it was just not there was no sun and it was just so so sad and i definitely thrive and love the sun so very happy that it's back out i'm just putting a little something on my lips let's go on a little walk and get some vitamin D. currently listening to a podcast because podcasts are just always the best on long walks and the green bell is just absolutely beautiful today the river is like very very fast i don't think you're allowed to go floating on the river yet although some people have just because it's not open yet and it's very very fast right now but it is very pretty to look at so i love looking at it I'm over the moon right now. It's absolutely beautiful. We get this little willow tree right there. So, so happy right now. Best way to spend the first day of summer, hands down. Kind of thinking of maybe just like walking all the way from the green belt to downtown and just finding a place to eat, sit outside. I think I'm gonna do that. Get a little munch. the chipotle bacon blt on an everything bagel and i'm so excited this is like my favorite thing to get here this looks amazing right now cheers just got back in my car. I think I walked like four or five miles because it's already noon which is insane because I started at like 8 30 nine ish i don't know what i was feeling today but i was definitely feeling the summer spirit also that goldstein's bagel hit so good ever go to boise idaho go to goldstein's they are my favorite bagel place here i've heard blue sky bagels is also really good which i definitely do need to try out but <sighs> goldstein's always hits 
Anyways, I am going to run to the bank to get some cash because tomorrow, once I land, I'm gonna take the bus and the bus is like $30. So I have to go to a Bibles. So I'm gonna go find a Chase bank and then I also wanna stop at the store and get some sunscreen because I think I wanna tan today. Cash has been secured. You guys, I literally was driving and while I was on the road, I was like, why is there a yellow sticky note under my windshield? So I pulled over because I was like, oh my gosh, did I get a parking ticket? Like what's going on? Somebody literally left this on my car and said, tow 5123, last chance. Wait, has this been here since May 1st? Honestly, maybe. I think this may have been here since May 1st because today's May 3rd. I'm so confused. Last chance. My car didn't get towed. So that's the good thing. But, um, oops. Currently in Fred Meyer right now. I need to find sunscreen and I also kind of want like one of those cushions that you can like lay out on. <gasps> exactly like this. Let's see what we can find. I'm so excited to tan outside. I feel like winter made me pale here. I don't know. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But all I know is I'm very excited to wear a swimsuit right now. Also, of course, you know I had to get sun bump sunscreen because that is the only way to go. It's the best sunscreen ever. I think I might do strapless today. That's, that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. I've never worn this one before, but this is from Dippin' Daisies. It is so, so cute. It looks like a little popsicle. Then the top is just a little bandeau. Swimsuit is on. I threw my hair up into this really ugly little bun moment, but it's okay because I'm tanning. Happy first day of summer, y'all. It feels so good. Let's check what the UV is right now. I'm all sunscreened up, so I feel prepared for this. 30 minutes on one side, 30 minutes on the other. That usually does the trick for me. Don't forget, if you're ever tanning, stay hydrated because it's really, really hot. Okay, UV is a seven right now. That's pretty good, I'll take it. I will leave my Spotify playlist down in the description if you guys want to listen to my playlist. I've got some really good ones and the one that I'm gonna listen to today, UV a 10. That one is the best one. Go listen to it. Just finished tanning outside. I literally fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep on my face down. And I'm awake. Better than ever. This water is tasting so, so good. I'm honestly craving like a little yogurt parfait bowl. So we're gonna do that. Favorite granola is baked bear. Mm, 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 mm. I kind of want to do a little workout at the rec center though Just kind of use it one last time because as of tomorrow I don't have access to the rec anymore because i'm not taking summer classes this year So I think I might go do a little last bar workout there mm, This is so good. What a bittersweet feeling. This is my last time going to the rec center Feeling all the things right now You can find it on my TikTok page, it's just Caroline Manning. Definitely go do it. It burns. Okay, I'm all finished with the gym and there's nobody in here. Just got home from the gym and I'm getting a head start on packing for my trip tomorrow. I still have to do a load of laundry, took out some clothes from my closet that I think I'm gonna wear and put them on the ground. And I'm just gonna pack like a bunch of granola bars in my carry-on bag just because I always get hungry. And airport food is so freaking expensive. They totally overcharge. I don't know if anybody actually likes doing laundry because I don't. Packing is a whole ordeal. For my birthday, my sister got me these packing cubes from Away. And I've never used them before, but I'm really excited. I think it'll actually help me stay organized and be able to pack more efficiently because I do not pack great at all. A little stack of clothes, two different tank top shirts, and then some 
cargo pants. This has been one of my favorite skirts to wear. I got it from Nordstrom and I think the brand name is called Yogalicious. I've always had the hardest time finding the right skirts that actually fit like my body style because I'm petite but my torso is shorter than my legs and so skirts were always a hit or miss for me but this one is my fave i'm gonna pack my little matching pj set my friend kaylee got this for me and it's actually adorable it looks like this and then the matching shorts look like this got all my underwear sports bras regular bras packed my js hair and energy pills along with my probiotic and wellness ones and then for church on sunday i'm gonna be packing one of my current favorite dresses this one's from cotton on hi guys just got back from hanging out with my friend we ended up going out to eat and then went on a little walk now i'm back home and i need to pack all of my makeup for tomorrow so let's do that right now this is my favorite makeup bag ever if you're looking for a good one get the glossier one it usually comes with dividers but i took it out just because there's more space once you take it out my friend kaylee is coming over tonight because my flight is at 5 25 a.m tomorrow she's gonna spend the night and then we're just gonna go to the airport together from there but we're gonna go grab Froyo at Blue Cow, which is my favorite frozen yogurt place here. Put all the makeup in here. I have a tendency to overpack and I need to stop doing that, but just love it. Look at this, she's already filled up so, so much. Bonjour, it's the end of the night and Kaylee's spending the night. The alarms are set <laughs> for what time? 3.45. I also have one for 3.50, 3.55, and 3.59, and 4. So, we can't sleep through it. We're gonna be up. <laughs> We're not missing this flight. This is not happening. So excited. So make sure to subscribe to watch me surprise Nana. Traveling with Caroline. Traveling with Caro. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Ciao!